come back adding a node adding a node is a two step process until these two steps are finished your newly added node and node will not be saving the traffic so in the first step a node is added to an existing cluster in the second step we'll do rebalance which means whatever add new and replica v buckets were previously distributed across the cluster or redistributed across the super set of nodes created by the addition super set of nodes means you may add one node or couple of nodes at a time to the cluster and do the rebalance right so make a node of it node will not be taking traffic until rebalance rebalance after adding a node so these are the things that will happen during the rebalance the v buckets are redistributed across the cluster the node is provisioned within the cluster and ready to accept traffic and also cluster map is pushed to all the connected clients so whenever you add a node or remove a node cluster map will be updated and pushed to all the clients rebalance is never ever automatic you will have to explicitly invoke it via ui or cli or rest api one point to mention here when adding or removing nodes that do not host the data service no data is moved which means when you are adding or removing index service nodes or query service nodes or any other service nodes there will not be any data movement therefore nodes are added or removed from the cluster map without data transition so only cluster map will be updated in case if you are removing any other service nodes apart from data service add a node and rebalance with cli so this is the command to do that server add hyphen c any node ip from the cluster username administrator server add the new node ip that you are going to add server username password and the list of services that you are going to assign to that particular node and the node must now be rebalanced into the cluster you can give any node ip here you can give existing cluster node ip or new node ip as well because we have already added it in the above command add a node and rebalance with the rest api this is a command to add a node credentials host method any cluster node ip add node and the ip address that you are going to add and the credentials and the list of services here if you are adding multiple services you can mention the list of services separated by comma the newly added node must be rebalanced this is the command to perform the rebalance join a cluster with the rest api this is the command for that credentials host method cluster ip port number to join the cluster and the new name with the credentials and the list of services that you are going to assign to this particular new node again rebalance this is a command you can list the nodes with cli this is a command to list all the nodes that are part of the cluster this is a sample output this is a command to list the nodes with rest api removing a node like adding nodes removing also a two step process the first step we will mark the node as removed in the ui in the second step we will do rebalance in the rebalance whatever active replica v buckets that were previously distributed across original cluster node are redistributed across the subset of nodes remaining because of the node remove which means whatever data existed on the cluster will be redistributed on the remaining nodes if you mark a node for removal node will still serve the traffic until rebalance is completed so this is one of the advantages of choosing remove option when you want to take out a node from the cluster because of any maintenance activities like os patching or database patching remove and rebalance is recommended indeed swap rebalance is recommended by couchbase remove a node using ui click on servers click on that particular node which you are going to remove and click on remove server so rebalance post removing a node again same thing v buckets are redistributed across the cluster node is removed from the cluster and will not move accept traffic so once the rebalance is completed node will not be accepting any more traffic cluster map is pushed to all the connected clients again rebalance is never ever automatic we have to do it manually remove a node using cli we can remove it from the ui or we can remove it using cli command or we can also remove a node using rest api this is a command to remove and rebalance a node using cli command rebalance and any one of the cluster node ip admin credentials server remove here what is the server you are going to remove provide that ip remove a node with rest api this is a command to remove a node from the cluster with rest api and rebalance the remaining nodes credentials host method and then any cluster node ip rebalance endpoint hyphen d ejected nodes in the ejected nodes section you can provide the node ip that you are going to remove in the next video i will be demonstrating how to add a node and rebalance how to remove a node and rebalance all these things see you in the next video thank you